What? What the? Where are we? What fetish is user into this time? Ohayou gozaimasu. Yes, sir. The owner right now is playing Subnautica Bureau Zero. Ah, uh, the sequel. A sequel? Eh, it looks the same to me. Eh, just a little bit cold. Ugh. Ah, yes, yes, yes. It doesn't feel like a sequel, but it is more Subnautica, right? Eh, can't complain. It's more Subnautica anyways. Hey, wh wh what is that? Ah, yes, that is called a Squid Shark. New asset mixed with old asset in the video game. No, 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 not for me. That is enough tentacles for one day. No, 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 get, get away. Get away from me, you weird hand, I think. Shoo, shoo. Ah, I see. Dina is Serb. Hida Mitsurugi. Itidakimasu! Hi guys, so today we're going to have a quick look at Subnautica Below Zero. Uh, this video is split into two parts. Part one is this video where I show you some early gameplay and some end game building tour, along with some serious problems I wanted to bring up about the game. Part two, which is the next video, linked down below in the descriptions, will be a complete rant where I tear this game apart. Um, this is not a review, okay, but basically just sharing my final thoughts of the game before we move on with our lives. I'm a huge Subnautica fan, and the only reason why I actually wanted to make this video is because everyone's saying this game is great. But the truth is, no, it's not. And um, there are some stuff that I wanted to bring out with some really, there are some really big, uh, game, questionable game designs out there that I wanted to bring up. So without further ado, let's take a look at some early gameplay footage and some late game base tours. Enjoy. Alright, Subnautica Below Zero. Let's go. Oh, oh, we're gonna crash. Whoa. Everyone okay? Everyone okay? <laughs> oh, oh, there's fire. There's probably fire. There's always fire when it comes to something like this. Yep, I called it fire. Get out, woman. Get out, get out, get out. Oh, where's the manual override for these things? <laughs> kick it, kick it! Oh, there's the manual override. <laughs> oh, oh, we're out, we're out. All right, let's check what we got going here. Okay, we got oxygen, we got thermostats. Oh, that's new, thermostat, okay. And we got water, health, oh, come on. She couldn't eat a snack on the mothership? I know a sister gotta keep her shape. You, you had to. Oh, we have food. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. We try to collect everything here. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Got water. Found water. Just dive in. Swan dive into the night of your life. Oh, I know what this does. Ah, oh, they're the same animals. They're the same fish. Oh, okay. This is for H two O. This is titanium. Oh, okay. Wow. Look at all this graphics. It's much better. Much brighter. Oh, I am loving this. Into the pot. Found the drop pod. Yes, we did. I hope you find okay, the answer. Okay, I think see. we have a Lillian general Bench. idea of what to craft. Let's go back out there. Okay. Let's see what this Should has. Oh, copper. Okay. This is another copper. Right. Any okay, I have enough to I make the knife. Just a knife. Okay, now I got some swimming fins. Help me swim faster. Use the knife to cut some creep vine. Let's see what we can make with this. Synthesized. Gotta make that oxygen tank. Here we go. All right, now I can stay down a little bit longer. To your data bank. Oh, they got oxygen bubbles. That's convenient. Oh, I know that sound. Oh, well, rise, rise, rise. I know that sound. I know that sound. Ah! Oh, son of a. Okay, time to make those uh, batteries. Oh, the formula is different for batteries in Below Zero. And now, where's that scanner? Right there. Okay, things are about to get interesting. All right, I have a scanner. Warning. Oh, 30, 30 seconds. seconds. I can get one more. I can get one more. There it is. Okay, one more, one more, one more. Okay, nice silver ore. Rise, 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 rise. Come on. 10 seconds of air left. Come on, get up there. Oxygen. <laughs> Oh, whoa! <laughs> oh, it, it catapults you all the way to the air, huh? <laughs> nice! Oh, 
Oh, are those sea glider? Okay, there you go, the sea glide fragments. I think there's two of them. Nice, finally. Can finally assemble these. Definitely need the sea glider. Right, back to base, back to base. Could be a major fight. Okay, put them all together. Battery. To uh, where's the glider? Definitely check it out. There it is, okay. Aha, uh -huh. now we're talking. The sea glide is a personal transportation device. Okay, let's try the sea glider up. We are going places. All right. Damn, this is very familiar. Okay, I need to scan that. What's the hot button for scan? There you go. Oh, ah, sea monkey. Get off me. Get off me. No, that's mine. That's mine. That's mine. Give it to me. That's my scanner. Where's my scanner? Crap, I dropped my scanner. I can't find it. Warning. Oh, oxygen. oxygen remaining. Oh, I can't find my scanner. Darn it. Where is it? Oh, I need to rise, 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 rise. Need oxygen. <gasps> Get back in there. Where's, where did this sea monkey drop it? <sighs> where is it? Oh, man, I have to. Oh, I, okay, get that one. I'm good. Give me back my scanner. I don't want to have to make another one. Ugh. Oh, whatever. I have to go back and craft another one. Oh, that is not convenient. All right. It seems like everything here is so familiar. Like, right off the bat, everything. You, as long as you come from Subnautica 1 right away, it doesn't seem too difficult. At least at the very beginning, it's not that scary either. I've clocked in about 20 minutes now, and it seems like I've gotten all the essential equipments already. Alright, this is 30 hours in. Welcome to my base. It's half underwater and half on glacier. I got a little bit of a platform here, a little bit of a farm, and a uh, landing site for the prawn suit when it detaches. Um, I have two moon pools here, which is quite a questionable design choice, actually. I'm just going to show you... Um, my thermal power plant is down there, so I'm extracting energy from the thermal power plant. The size of the moon pool can actually fit both the sea truck and the prawn suit. Let's just have a look inside here. Uh, all right, we're inside. So as you can see, the there's a lot of space here for both. This is my scanning room. And on this side is where the prawn suit is. So, you know, there's plenty of space, actually. If you loop over here, this is my water filtration area. So I get all my drinking water here with no problem. Welcome to the surface part of the base upon the entrance. There is a nice viewing area here where you can appreciate the underwater base. Hey, this was not easy to build. The building system on the surface is not very intuitive, so I had to cheese the system. Uh, <laughs> great view here just to connect the surface with the underwater base. This is the hangout area just to uh, chill. Got the bioenergy plant here just to mix it up. Got my storage section over here and I got my charging station and workshop. Let's head to the bedroom here with a great view. As you can see, everything is quite familiar aside from some special uh, furniture. Heading to the second floor with the tank here. And this is my farm. This is all you need. <laughs> the game is so easy and the plants grow so fast overnight. You might see a lot of people grow bigger farms, but this is already OP. Let me just show you the viewing deck on the top. As you can see, the uh, old asset and new asset, they don't look like they belong to each other. So more on that later. Some of the bugs here that needs patching is getting stuck. This is just the corner of the tank. When you're walking around to appreciate your pets, all of a sudden you're hitting the corners and weirdly, you just get stuck. Connecting an old asset like the multi-purpose room to the new asset like the lodge room also feels awkward because trying to cross it every time and you get stuck for some reason. More path problems. That small ledge. Seriously, I have to jump it. Come on, man. Here's another problem. Uh, when you get to your sea truck and you deploy and you're looking around, hmm, where to go next? You're hovering around and all of a sudden... Boom, the moon pool just just pulls you back in. There should be a button prompt for that, because I want to get down and, you know, look around first. 
let's have a look at the outside and as you can see more visual bugs um, that needs patching after two months upon release sometimes the stairs just vanish uh, I tried rebuilding it but yeah it really takes away from the immersion foundations are also missing making rooms look like they're floating uh, let's take a look at the snow fox the snow fox is also annoying because as fun as it is to ride it around the surface, um, you need to deploy it every time from your inventory. As you can see, it's a blast to ride, but the fact that you have to always throw it out every time feels annoying. I mean, like you could see the sea glider is auto-equipable, but uh, when you pack this in, you still have to throw it out. I mean, like the sea glider could have been upgradable, perhaps to make it sort of a hybrid for both surface and underwater travel. That would make the old asset so much interesting. Another annoying part, especially for OC players like me, are the modules, okay? There's just nowhere to park them. As you can see, they're scattered everywhere and just sitting there awkwardly. The moon pool could have had a docking extension for these. It would have been a creative way to improve upon the old and recycled assets. One of the uh, biggest design stupidity <laughs> I found in the game is this prawn suit module. Oh my gosh, this is so dumb. It's a module that helps attach the prawn suit with the sea truck so you can take it whenever you need it. Let me just go get the prawn suit here real quick. So as soon as I attach the prawn suit to the module, um, you know what, I am automatically ejected. Gotta watch the pathing here, I might get stuck. So here, I'm just gonna show you real guys, uh, guys real quick. Let me just drop down. Yep. Nice platform, very satisfying feeling. Okay, so as you can see, I am automatically ejected as soon as the prawn suit is attached. Even if the waters are dangerous, you know, I would have loved to decide whether to eject from the prawn suit or not. Even better, I wish that I could just enter or exit the prawn suit and the sea truck without ever hitting the water. Like, look at this, why can't I just swap? There's even an eject button here that actually encourages you to get out into the dangerous waters. It would have made more sense to swap vehicles in relative safety, right? Here's another dumb or rather incomplete idea that the devs came up with. So as you can see, I'm heading up to the moon pool with a module attached to my sea truck, okay? But can I bring it up with me? And nope, it's just awkwardly stuck below. Like this was an incomplete concept that they thought would be forgivable. Like, why not? There's plenty of space up there. Okay, guys, that is it for part one. I hope you enjoyed it. Next video, part two, will be a rant about the game itself. Links in the description below. Um, I wanted to squeeze this all into one video, but sadly, there's just so many things I want to cover. I'm a big fan of Subnautica, okay? So Below Zero, I'm very critical of Below Zero, and there's just so many things I want to talk about, so many problems about the game as a whole. So it can't fit just one single 15-minute video. I try to limit all my videos to a maximum of 15 minutes. So part two is just right down there. I hope you enjoyed the gameplay video so far. Please like and subscribe. It really helps smaller channels like me out. And uh, thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you in part two or in our past, present, and future videos. Sorry, cop. Ah, yes, that is called a squid shark. Love you, baby. Ah, yes, yes. That is called a squid shark.